Hi guys, so this will be a quick video showing you the next stage in this case study we're doing, which is the TurboBikeTrainer.com website. So if you've been following along with the other ones, this is the next one. It's just a quick one. And this is our current walkthrough. This is how far we got. And last time it added this filtered product search here in the homepage. And if you have a look at the live website, so this is the live website at TurboBikeTrainer.com. And we've got this menu bar along the top, and this is what we're gonna put in now on our walkthrough website, because we haven't got that. And this is quite simple to do, so this will be just a quick video here. So we'll just go into our dashboard. And if we have a look under appearance and menus, this is where you set up the primary and secondary navigation menus. So we've got nothing here now. So the first thing you need to do is create a new menu. So if you have, several of the menus there you can click create new but we haven't got any so we can just start straight away here so just give it a name of anything you want so it's just called my navigation menu top but this doesn't matter so click create menu and it's there then we have these options to add pages or categories or links to this menu but we haven't got any pages set up but we've only got we've got two set up we've got the home page that we created and there's this sample page that was in there by default when we installed WordPress so I'm going to go ahead and add this home page to our menu and it's there at the bottom here we've got some options and we want to see we want to add this as our themes primary navigation menu then click save menu And we'll go back to our home page and you'll see we've got a navigation bar there now with this one link that says home page we haven't got all these pages here but we've got the start so I'm going to go in now and quickly create a few pages here just to fill out this navigation bar so it looks similar so I can just go new page here or I can go into the dashboard go pages add new so whatever way you want to do it so we'll have an about page I'm just going to publish it I'm not going to fill it out now we can do this later but I'm just going to create a few blank pages for the navigation so I'm going to add another one you want search trainers trainer guides deals and offers I'm just going to speed this video up now because I'm just doing the same things adding the other pages in right so we've got all the pages there now even though they're blank so we can go ahead and add these to the menu they don't add themselves automatically so we have to do this so appearance menus that's where you find the menu options and you see now we've got all these pages here so we'll just tick them the ones we want to show up and then we'll go add to the menu and because this menu is here it'll add it to this menu okay and the order these are in is the order it'll appear in your menu bar so I'm just going to drag it to the same order like so now open the site in a new tab there we go we've got all of these links and pages now this is home page here but on the live site it just says home so we can easily change that so we've got our menu structure here so we just click here to open it and it's got navigation labels so this is what it shows up on the home page so we'll just change that to home and I want to show you one more thing while we're here just just as a general menu tip at the moment all of these are se separate links to pages but if we 
indent one of these like so this trainer guide now falls under the parent of search trainers so you see it's called a sub item now so if I save this and refresh our home page first off you see that says home now but now we have the search trainers and if you hover over it we have the link to the trainer guide so this could be useful if you're setting up different menus but for us we don't want that so you just need to drag it back across and save it and there it is it's separate links so we click on one of these it takes it to the page but of course we haven't got anything in there like in a real site and if I click that in the real site we have a huge link of recent offers which link through to individual product pages but we haven't got that so there you go that's just about set up but another thing you'll notice here there's a date and it's the date and recording this video which is the 12th of June 2014 and we haven't got that here and this is something you set up in the Genesis settings so remember we're using the Genesis framework here you just go into theme settings and then you scroll down and you see here we've got navigation then we've got primary navigation extras display the following at the moment it says none we've got a few options like Twitter links search links RSS feed but we want to select today's date so I'll just save that and we'll refresh and there it is today's date so that's it the navigation bar is done so it's just a quick video just to show you how to do the navigation bar and remember to keep updated by subscribing to this YouTube channel or heading over to my website which is www.neilcurtis.me sign up to my email list and I'll keep you updated and there's also lots of other guides and tutorials on there to keep you happy when you're customizing your WordPress website see you later